Okay, so I'm giving you some taste of what season three is gonna be like. Dun 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 dun. And <laughs> I am watching Lauren in the kitchen because I'm doing full taste of what season three is like. But first. I'll just do it. Wait, where is it? Ha ha ha. Put the salmon. Because it is looking fabulous. A lot of oil salmon. renders out of the salmon. But you're not going to eat that. Crispy salmon with Z-U-C-C-H-I-N-I. -I. Yogurt sauce from Lauren the Kitchen. Published June 1st, 2017. And I did not create this video. I do not own it. All the credit goes to her. She is an amazing cook and chef. And I've watched her videos many times. I'm just... So doing my reactions and reviews because I'm doing eat food things for Sunday like cooking or watching cooking shows, cooking movies, cooking episodes or showing some of the cooking things I can do. Here's a tip though. I am terrified of ovens which you probably already know so you could see me make cookies but you're not going to see me put them in the oven. It's going to take just a couple more minutes you can really and while that happens I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to my sauce, my capers. I love the idea of the briny capers with the mint, but if you don't like capers, by all means, you can just leave them out. As long as I could leave out the mint and anything that has some mint. I don't eat meat, so I would eat this like with veggie stuff, the sauce, not the salmon, because I don't eat salmon like I said in the last video, and I can't admit I'm allergic. But the rest of it sounds decent squeeze of lemon because I, I absolutely think it needs it. Let it seize out. Oh well, one minute in there. And a small drizzle of olive oil. Not very much. Less than a tablespoon. And then just mix all of this together. And it just makes for the most delicious, mm. I don't even know how to describe it, fresh, good. fantastic sauce. This would be good on turkey burgers. I mean, you name it. On Veggie event. burgers. If you have the time... You can make this ahead of time and then just pop it in the fridge to keep it um, nice and cool. And that way it's ready for you when you're ready for it. I'm just going to clean up. My salmon is almost ready. I'm going to clean up, bring over my sides so that I can walk you through them, and then serve. That is it, but it's so good. I promise. That is it. Look at that gorgeousness. I mean... Nice and crispy on both sides. That is my plate, of course. All right, now, before I actually add the sauce, let me walk you through my sides. You can use whatever side dishes you want. I mean, I don't really care. It's your dinner. You do you, boo. I do not eat salmon, but the sauce without the mint would be good. On like a veggie burger or a veggie plate or like just grill a bunch of veggies. A couple of our favorites, I love minty peas. And since I buy mint, I like to use it in as many things as possible. I can't eat mint. The recipe for the, these are in my book. If you have my Laurie in the Kitchen book, then you know this is a great side dish recipe. And I also just did a little lemon and herb and olive oil. Perfect. This is just perfect with tomatoes. Fresh, mm. it's vibrant, it's light, it's everything I want in a spring dinner. And then some. I'm just going to make myself a plate because I really am... Super, super hungry, but I love everything combined just makes for pregnant. a fantastic point, dinner. And if you have friends anymore. coming over midweek, no. I mean, if you I just. I think this is after pregnancy, but it takes you a while not to get as hungry. Yeah, but no, she didn't really make me hungry, but I was also really young, so. Well, not really young. 17, 18. This is some good quality salmon fillets that you can keep frozen. I like. I mean, you have the a 15 minute and dinner that's here. Good. Sides included that take no time. But I can't I'm eat telling you, the mint and worth the every fish. single bite. Let me go right in. I mean, you can see the salmon is just it flakes beautifully. You can see it's still. One of these days, I want to do like a. I might like end up trying to find like some veggie recipes and try new veggie recipes for y'all. Don't quote me on that though, please. I might do one more boring in the kitchen video and then show you. I hope you, you can hear the crunches. The I this because it does I get nice and crispy. Mmm. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Mmm. Fantastic. Really lovely. Really easy. 
and it should be on your dinner this week. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com to get the written recipe. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I'll see you next time. Like I said, I do not own her videos. I did not help her with anything. I just love her and this is just me reacting. This is like my Sunday reacting to food videos or making my own food. Maybe I'll try to make some vegetarian recipes. Do not quote me on that though because the vegetarian, like um, the waffles that I make are actually, the only thing that people might not be able to eat is the gluten in the recipe, but it has no eggs in it, no dairy. It's probably even considered maybe vegan, but I could be wrong. I tried to get the one without the eggs, but the thing is, on the packaging, they kind of forgot. You have to add a little bit of extra flour to the mix because when you don't have eggs, the flour just doesn't work. Like, it doesn't work as well as you would think. Old fashioned sour cream donuts. We have how to make homemade cupcakes from scratch. Mm, how to make homemade pizza. Uh, what should I make? How to make bagels. Creamy tortellini with butternut squash recipe. Okay, that one I really want to watch because if it has no meat in it, I eat cheese. And I eat, and I can eat tortellini as long as I'm not allergic to it. Like, like I, mint, cinnamon, cocoa, food dye. And usually tortellini aurora is what I get, but this is tor creamy tortellini with butter squash recipe. So if she makes without me and without, um, <clears throat> Mint, I could try this recipe one day if I just get the noodles for it and Kevin and Jay are, well she's asleep and he's in the garage. Yeah, I have to throw the cat, I, well don't throw him, he actually likes to go in the garage, but I put him in there until I'm done like cooking or eating sometimes, which isn't long, because every time I cook, he thinks, ooh, fire, put hand near it and try to burn my hand. Ooh, me trying to watch him to make sure he doesn't burn himself. Or one time he knocked the, he was up on the counter and the pot I was using, wig got caught on fire, but it wasn't too bad. Like it got put out right away, but I was like, I walked away for five seconds. You're on the counter and this thing was caught on, the lid was caught on fire. What just happened? So I try to just put him in the garage. I don't lock them in there or anything. It's actually a very big garage, which is where I want to do my YouTube channel. It's like huge. Like, you could make a room out. A lot of people here make a room out of it. And um, he likes it. He can go exploring. So I put him in there. It's not like torture or anything. He goes in there freely. I don't like force him in just so he doesn't get hurt. I actually just put him in there for his safety because he still thinks, ooh, fire, pretty. Put hand in fire. Or, ooh, climb on counter and try to knock over the pot that has the fire under it he loves to like torment me when I cook like every time I cook he's like right under my feet tripping me and so I just put him in where it's safe for him I love him and I don't want him to get hurt okay let's get back to this video Italian. On this episode of Learning Kitchen, I want to share with you my. Oh, she has decor now. Which means she has like pretty, like fall. This must be, ah, uh, it's October 14th, uh, 14th, 2014. Learning in the Kitchen. I love, like, she has like perfect fall flowers for her, and they don't take away from her kitchen at all. Like, they're right near the window. They look like they're not like. If they're real, they don't look it, or they're not too bad. They look really nice where she had put them and placed them. She's a little bit of red and orange, like, pot and a spoon or something, which really gives, like, her um, kitchen a little bit of color. And I'm so just, like, she is, like, the coolest kitchen ever. I would love to have a kitchen like that, but at the same time, 
about a kitchen like that, Jade and Kevin would most likely... Yeah. It wouldn't work. Jade and Kevin like to kill anything. Like, I try to cook when Jade's asleep or away or if she's like at school or at a friend's house because last time I tried to cook with her, her and Kevin... Yeah, don't cook or get it again. <laughs> don't know how to listen very well. Anyway, let's get back to it. tortellini with butternut squash mm. and parmesan cheese. So good. Think of it like almost um, like a butternut squash alfredo. It's delightful. And it's so easy. It really couldn't be any easier but she's uh, than, than what so it is. I mean, it just takes a handful cookbook. of ingredients. I've got some butternut squash here that I've diced. She's over cookbook up, so I'm wondering if this is before her cookbook. Eventually, want to get it and look at some of her recipes. I just want to get my cousin Nina has a cookbook, but I can't find it anywhere because she's a vegan and a lot of her recipes are vegan and vegetarian friendly. And I'd love to try and make them and see if they taste good. Like, vegan, when people are like, oh, what do you mean vegan, vegetarian friendly? Well, I mean, there's no meat in them because, like, she's a complete vegan. And for me, I don't, I try not to even eat eggs, but sometimes I do I try not to but I really like they have to be in like a cake or bread or something for me to really eat it like I don't buy an egg McMuffin or anything so her recipes like would be perfect for somebody who's I'm like a dairy vegetarian because I like to eat dairy and but I like fruits and vegetables too and like I said a lot of my food is um a vegan friendly Anymore. Pretty small. I also have a shallot that I've chopped. I've got some cheese tortellini. You can use tortellini of your choice. Uh-oh, I hit the wrong button. Darn it. Hi guys, I'm Lauren Vitale, and on this episode of Lauren the Kitchen, I want to share with you my creamy tortellini with butternut squash and parmesan cheese. So good. Again, I'm not trying to copyright or, or do anything to get my YouTube show to get away from her. This is Lauren in the Kitchen. I had nothing to do with her. I just love her, and since I do, like, my Sundays are going to be talking about food, looking at food videos and food things. I've just do my reactions and reviews on her. I got to YouTubers do and I love her and I did not create her video. All credit goes to her and the people who help her. And I love the stuff she makes. Even if I'm a vegetarian and I don't really eat a lot of it, I still find like what she can make really cool. Because not everybody has those skills. Even though my Nana burns pudding, but it's actually easier when you know how to it's actually easier than you think and quite a pain but not a lot of people can cook as well as some 